On today's show, is Googling on iOS soon to be a thing of the past? What to expect when you're expecting an Apple event? And iOS and macOS release schedule. This is the Apple Daily. I'm David for Living on iPad, and I simplify Apple so everything just works for you. If you want the latest Apple news, rumors, and leaks every weekday at 12 UTC, like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell button so you can join my notification squad and get a shout out at the end of the next video. Apple creating its own search engine. According to a story on Koi Wolf, Apple is well down the road on developing its own search engine. This would be to replace Google as the default search engine in iOS and Mac. Recent builds of iOS have shown that the Spotlight search is now directly searching the web rather than using Google as an in-between. And also Applebot has been spotted trawling the web and crawling websites all over the place. But of course, Android from Google is iOS's main competitor and probably the only legit competitor. While Apple has moved away from Google Maps, they also moved back to Google in 2017 for Siri and Safari search. Now we assume that Apple's own search engine would be branded as either Siri or Spotlight search and would probably have a, a heavy focus on privacy, which Apple is really doubling down on these days. It's not obvious whether Apple would create their own ad product for uh, sponsored searches, but based on the fact that they use sponsored search and promoted listings in the App Store, it would not be surprising at all. Check out coywolf.news for the full story. What to expect when you're expecting an Apple event? So, Twitter leaker John Prosser has cited September the 8th, 9am Eastern Time as the time for the press event that is currently scheduled. Now, normally before these press events, especially if it is a website press release, the press will actually be briefed about 10 minutes before, which tends to be when uh, John manages to get his uh, his tweets out. But there's also today uh, a link that was dropped to an iPad video on YouTube, which was quickly made private. Uh, it looks like iPad is exactly what we should be expecting next week. Camille KJ's new handle, Camille Appleseed, has also uh, mentioned uh, and posted links for multiple images on the Apple newsroom site. Uh, however, none of those are accessible at the moment. It looks like they have been put in place ready for product announcements uh, and they include for the iPhone 12 and 12 Pro, Apple Watch, iPads, etc. All this being said, analyst Mark German of Bloomberg doesn't believe that any Apple products will be released next week and that it will just be an announcement of this autumn's iPhone event with the dates for their digital reveals iOS and macOS release schedule. Now, of course, this year is not following the normal pattern of having the iPhone event early September, followed by the iPhone release. Uh, and normally with that iPhone release comes the latest version of iOS and iPadOS. It looks like we will be getting the iOS 14 release a little bit earlier, which will also line up potentially with those iPad releases for iPadOS 14. So I'd expect to be seeing iOS by the end of next week. The same with iPadOS especially if we have got new hardware on the way, and then a 14.1 version that comes out with the iPhone hardware, probably in October or early November. Mac OS Big Sur is also slated for October, so it looks like we won't be getting Apple Silicon in the next week or so, most likely, but Big Sur coming to the public in a non-beta form during October. But which software is it that you're most excited for? Which one is it you can't wait to get your hands on? Bit of software that you are most excited. For me, I've got to admit, because I've been using the betas already on iOS and iPadOS, I am really excited for Big Sur, and I am gonna try and get it onto this iMac over here, even though it's not really supposed to have it. So if you wanna see my adventures in trying to get that loaded on there, uh, hit like and let me know in the comments if you want to see my struggles with getting macOS Big Sur running on a 2013 iMac. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next show. Don't forget, if you want to join the notification squad, you will be getting a shout out here on the next video.